Hello, hello, how is everyone doing? You're on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts, and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. How's everyone doing? Um, as you can see from the title of this video, it is a BB Craft um, project share. Okay, but before I showed you show you what I made, um, let's talk about their program. So they have this customer program uh, YouTube if, if you have a YouTube channel and you have a hundred or more subscribers you can be eligible for this program as well um, you get a chance to pick out some free products they will send them to you for free okay and all you have to do is make three videos one has to be an unboxing video and then two of your videos have to be you know project shares like what did you make with the stuff that you got right well today is my third video out of this round of free stuff that I have received so um, I highly suggest that you, if you like free products to go check them out it's super easy to you know do what they're requiring. It's really easy. It really is, guys. If I can do it, <laughs> you can do it too. <laughs> All right, and and I have a coupon code that you can go use to get 10% off your entire purchase if you go purchase something through one of my um, product links. Because I'll have their um their website link down below and the product or products that I show off in the video okay so let's get right to it um, so out of one of the things I got the stamp set right a lot of green it's like pine cones and greenery super cool I actually really really like this one they stamp out beautifully and what I usually do when I get a stamp set is I'll stamp them all out on a separate sheet of paper <coughs> Excuse me. just so I can see how they stamp you know and so I did that and then I was thinking oh this is kind of a cool collage and so I like sprayed the paper and then I cut them up and so I made some little tags right look at the and I sprayed on there and colored them in and then I put a hole in the tag and because it was a scrap piece of paper I had to um, here I'll show you on one of these uh, it was a scrap so I had to cover up the back with some more scrap paper so I didn't see yeah. but those would be cute little gift tags on a bag I mean just look at that that is beautiful so I'm going to make a bunch of those but these are the ones I haven't finished yet so I still need to color it in but there's the spray there's the messy back but I was also thinking you can just stamp them individually and make a thinner pieces out of them too so here's this one like I said I was just stamping randomly just to see how they stamped out and then I was like oh these are so pretty let's make let's make some Christmas cards I know I know we're in the middle of Halloween stuff right now but you all know I also have a really big order to finish before December 1st of Christmas cards so my um my channel right now is going to be a mix of Halloween and Christmas <laughs> so here's my first card I did I decided to Step on the edge here on one side. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
and then there's the sentiment that comes with it and I just propped it up put some gold thread behind there some snowflake gems and that's what that looks like it's blank on the inside and I always like to put washi tape on my envelopes so that goes with that one See if we can squeeze them in frame here. Here is my second one. So I decided to go all the way around with that greenery. Not pretty. And so what I did was I cut so I backed I backed the card with black cardstock, right? And then I took a separate sheet of white paper, cut it slightly smaller. I took green ink first and inked the border for first. You can see that green kind of in the background here. Then I stamped around the border. Then I colored them in. And I just used some Crayola watercolor markers. And then I sprayed the paper with some Tim Holtz spray. Let's see which one is it? No, it's not Tim Holtz. It was this one. I really like that brand too. So I sprayed it. And then the sentiment I did in black. And then I matte it onto black as well. And propped it up as well with some gold thread behind it. And there is some little gems there. Where is it on? Can you see all the sparkle? Very pretty. And there's the envelope and washi tape for that one. And so yeah, I kind of I kind of did the inking and the stamping all about the same. This one has green ink around the border as well. And then here is my other one. I did three. So I decided to do a different, this was like the holly berry. And I did it on the top and the bottom of this card. See that shimmer? Then I colored the leaves in. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and there's that green spray everywhere. And then the same thing I did with the sentiment, just pop it up. So there's that one. Very pretty, huh? And like I said, they're all blank on the inside. And here's the envelope for that one in washi tape. So there we go. There's my three. So which one was your favorite? One two or three. One has the snowflakes on it. Two is the all around border and three is the top and bottom border. I think my most favorite one was this one, number three. <laughs> I really like holly berry though. So that was so those cards and these tags that I'm going to end up finishing all came from this stamp set. So I had a lot of fun with that one. So like I said, I will link all the products in the description box. Okay. For product. I only used one product this time in the description box and then if you ever purchase anything from them um, please use my coupon code it is TONY10 it's, it's a capital T O N I 10 to get 10% off your entire purchase okay alright 
thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a happy and relaxing Sunday. Bye!